Merry Christmas, folks, and welcome back to Mr. Crumpler's Storytime. Tonight, I am going to be reading for you a classic, The Night Before Christmas by Clement Clark Moore. Now, this is one of my favorite classics to read during Christmas, so I hope you enjoy. Now, sit back, grab some hot cocoa, maybe some cookies, and let's begin. Well, I better put my glasses on first. Here they are. All right, now let's begin. The Night Before Christmas. "'Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. Look at all that candy there. Boy, they're dreaming a lot of sweet things. Hmm. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. <laughs> With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head, and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opened his pack. Look at all those toys. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His draw little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and his smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying with his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. There he goes off to spread joy and Christmas to all of the world. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this wonderful story, The Night Before Christmas, 
And I also want to wish you a wonderful and very Merry Christmas this year. Thank you so much for listening to Mr. Crumpler's Storytime, and I hope you listen again for more stories ahead. Keep reading, and Merry Christmas, folks.